Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Meet International Academy. One of the leading academy in training assess and nursing competitive exam as well as IELTS and Clarkson OIT training. In the number of the number. So, magic pill session. Continuous every day morning. You will reach out. Continuous or a series of questions. You will reach out. Norset and Varakudi Jigmar exams. You will reach out. So, every day 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 you will reach out. So, Nursing management learn the previously asked questions as a number of people. So today we are going to discuss about previous year question paper, which is related to nursing management. Okay. So not only nursing management in specific nursing management, the specific on a way in the topic of the book of property, material management, material management, other than ABC, BED analysis, ABC analysis. So in the money, Naraya inventory control management, material management, inventory control management, either related to either can allow questions get to come low. So I'm the question. So we see this. I'm going to be back up for one video. Well, I'm going to first time channel of packing up in a subscription. I'm going to be able to reach out. The first question is ABC analysis for inventory control is based upon. So this is the first question as usual. It is a direct question. No need to search any keywords at all. It is a direct question. They ask you ABC analysis for inventory control is based upon. So this is the first question as usual. It is a direct question. No need to search any keywords at all. It is a direct question. They ask ABC analysis for inventory control is based upon. They have given four options like storing criteria, item criteria, cost criteria, and issuing criteria. Okay, so ABC analysis for inventory control is based upon what criteria? This is the question. Okay, so you always keep in mind ABC analysis means two things. It has to come into your mind immediately. One or two issues ABC analysis. Abdi naale vandu munna di vandu nikkuno. Yenna abdi na? Adi the answer inga. So cost criteria, the first key point on the NAB now cost criteria. Okay. So the cost criteria, that point has to come into your mind. The second one is annual consumption. What is that? Annual consumption. Okay. The first one is cost criteria and second one is annual consumption. Based upon these two only, this ABC analysis is functioning. ABC analysis of inventory control is functioning. So this point has to be kept in your mind. Okay, so what is ABC analysis? This is the next important point. ABC analysis means always better control. The full abbreviation is what? Always better control. Here, two things is important. The first one is cost control and second one is cost criteria is the first one and second one is annual consumption. So in the end of the vision, so okay. So ABC analysis number path to always better control of this data. So ABC is the other base funding on the more classify control. So in what basis they are classifying this ABC that one we are going to see now. A means they are very small in numbers, but high in cost. They are very small in numbers. We can take it as a CT uh, machine, MRI machine, ventilators. They are very small in numbers. If you take one hospital, uh, one CT scan machine or two CT scan machine will be there because it is very costly. Okay, so A means the number is very very small and but the cost is very very high. Okay, so that is called as what A. Number is very less, cost is very high. Cost is very high. The next one is B item. The number is medium. Okay, medium numbers will be there. Okay, but the cost is also moderate. Cost is also moderate. We can take it as a syringe pump, infusion pump. Okay, it is not so much costly when compared to CT machine, MRI machine. Okay, so these are all amount. What amount it is present in the hospital is very moderate level only. Okay, and the cost is also moderate. The cost is moderate and the quantity is also moderate. Okay, the last item is C item. C items are larger in number. Okay, at the cost is very, very less. Let me give you one example, syringe. Okay, daily we are using uh, syringe for uh, uh, loading the injection and administering to the patient, right? So syringe is the best example of C item. They are in large in numbers. We can take it as 70 percentage, 50 to 70 percentage. And the cost is also very less. Okay, so based upon the cost criteria, even the annual consumption criteria, we are dividing the ABC analysis into A item, B item and C item. A item is very costly, okay, and very less in the hospital, two points. B item, moderate level cost and moderate level quantity is present in the hospital. I have given the example syringe pump, infusion pump. C item, largely used in the hospital. I have given the example syringe. 
okay which is used for giving the injection or loading the medications okay and the cost is also very less okay so if you know these things then it is easy to solve the question which is related to the abc analysis okay so the next question is which is the basis of abc analysis in inventory control see all the question whatever we are discussing related to the material management is already asked in the exam so i have collected all the question whatever related to material management in nursing management and i have made these slides okay so which is the basis of abc analysis in inventory control basis they are asking the basis already i have given two important key point which is related to basis of abc analysis the first one is cost criteria and second one is annual consumption value okay so based upon these two things only the abc analysis inventory method is running okay so let's see the options basis of abc analysis is based upon criti criticality of items annual consumption value procurement difficulty of items unit cost items so four option they have given here among these four option the right one is option b that is annual consumption value already i have given the detailed explanation okay for better understanding i have made the tableau column in this tableau column you can see very clearly see a b c these are all the category okay and importance the last uh, column you can take it as important see a it is higher value higher cost b it is medium value medium cost c it is lower value that is low cost okay and how much it is annually consumed evlo vanda and the higher cost la irukra and the or product vanda use aagudhu pathinga appadina annual consumption value is 70 to 80 percentage the a category it is used 70 to 80 percentage b category it is used 15 percentage and c category it is used 5 percentage okay so annual consumption value is very very important okay so how to calculate the annual consumption this question also can come in your exams how to calculate the annual consumption what is the formula for calculating the annual consumption here the uh, formula is mentioned here the calculation is annual demand into item cost per unit please remember this formula annual demand into item cost per unit okay fine so let's move on to the next question so here the right answer is what option b that is annual consumption value the next question is an item which can be included in a item in abc analysis inventory control so they have given four options and they are asking which among these four option is coming under a item in abc analysis inventory control okay abc analysis inventory control la ivanga kuduthirukke indha naal option la a item edu appdi solittu kekkranga that's a very simple question so gauze bundle syringe and needle mri machine bed linen direct question so you know the answer so here the right answer is what option c that is mri machine what is that mri machine so mri machine is coming under what a item why it is coming under a item because it is very very costly so higher value item higher cost item is coming under what a item okay b item is moderate c item is low cost items all other options you can see gauze bundle syringe needle bed linen everything will be coming under what low cost item c items understand what i am saying so it is a direct question so here the right answer is option c that is mri machine so in abc analysis the next question in abc analysis which of the items are frequently used and purchased in large quantity frequently used and purchased in large quantity always remember purchased in large quantity means immediately you have to think about which items b item c item or a item come on yes so here the right answer is what c item the c item is very less cost the cost is very very less so we are purchasing in huge amount okay less cost so we are the quantity what we are purchasing is huge okay the next one is what is the main purpose of abc analysis in material management direct question guys purpose of abc analysis in material management and they have given four options to control purchasing why we are using abc in material management to control purchasing or to control inventories or to control obsolescence to determine the stocking see abc analysis means if we can close our eyes and we can say it is only used for what inventory management how much we have to purchase how much is used per year and 
what is the demand we have to fix for the next year so everything we can plan in the inventory so abc analysis is the material management which is one and only used for what controlled inventory so here which is the right answer option b is the right answer okay so the next question is which of the following inventory control is based on the criteria of rate of consumption see abc analysis it is based upon two criteria that is cost criteria and annual consumption value please remember this once again i will repeat abc analysis it is based upon two criteria that is cost criteria and annual consumption value whereas here what they are asking in this question the key point is rate of consumption which inventory is coming under rate of consumption rate of consumption is the keyword so let's see the option what they are given abc analysis ved analysis hml analysis and fsn analysis so the abbreviation is also given nearby okay so among these four which is coming under rate of consumption criteria so this is the question so here the right answer is what option b that is fsn analysis the full form of fsn analysis is fast slow and non moving okay fast moving item slow moving item non moving item okay so this fsn analysis it is coming under what a rate of consumption evlo vand use agudho adha base panni indha or inventory irukku so idhu per enna appadina fsn analysis in full form fast moving slow moving non moving items okay for example syringes it will be moving very fastly right every day in the hospital settings we are using it okay so uh, non moving items we can keep it as a, uh, if it is a normal ward a light ward we are not using any uh, dressing kit okay once you procure the dressing kit it will be there only we are not at all using it that is non moving slow moving means we can take some medications okay slowly we are giving to the patients whenever there is a requirement okay so like this we have to calculate okay so according to that fsn abdina enadana rate of consumption based upon the rate of consumption we are maintaining the inventory by means of using the fsn analysis that's all okay so let's discuss about other analysis also like ved analysis hml analysis because everything is very important so we are discussing material management so definitely you should have been known about abc analysis already we have discussed about that fsn analysis that is also we discussed now we are going to discuss about what ved analysis in detail ved analysis the full form is vital essential desirable vital essential desirable vital means what see ved analysis is based upon the criticality of the item underline the keyword criticality of the item in the illa abdina in the hospital run panna mudiyuma இது இல்லைன்னா இந்த ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ரன் பண்ணவே முடியாது இது இல்லைனாலும் இந்த ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ரன் பண்ண முடியும் சோ பேஸ்ட் அப்ஆன் தி கிரிட்டிகாலிட்டி நெசசிட்டி ஆஃப் தி ஐட்டம் we are classifying it it is called as what ved analysis let's see the definitions v for vital e for essential d for desirable okay so v vital item very important item okay without which the hospital cannot function without that the hospital cannot function okay so that is called as what vital items second one is essential item see without this item the hospital can manage for some time okay but the hospital cannot give the quality of services okay idu illama vand function aagum mudiyum without this the hospital can run but the quality of service we cannot give to the patient that is called as what essential and last one is desirable item unavailability of which will not be interfere with the function of anything even though it is not at all available desirable i am item i am talking about desirable item even though it is not at all available but still the hospital can run smoothly without any interference idu illa na no hospital smooth a run avu adhu dhaan vandha enadhu desirable so three classification vital very important without that the hospital cannot run essential that is for some time we can run but we cannot give the quality of care to the patient and the last one is desirable without this we can run the hospital okay fine so this is called as what ved analysis okay the next one is hml and fsn we can see in detail most of the question they have asked from uh, abc ved and hml okay fine so hml what is hml already we have seen the full forms high medium low 
what is that high medium low okay so what is high high priced item h stands for what high priced item m stands for medium priced item l stands for low priced item okay so for a high priced item tight control is requirement tight control of consumption so yen adu vandu neenga use pandringa appadina adu vandu inventory la vandu mention aayirukku so na indha ivlo quantity vandu na use pannirukra indha particular patient ku appdin solittu full details vandu nama proper ah vandu mention pananum ena it is very costly okay so availability is also very less and we need more security for sto storing these areas storing these items okay so high priced item so definitely we need to keep it in high storage security area okay tight control is required so two key points high priced item is h item is nothing but high priced item second key point related to h item is high storage security is needed and the next important key point related to h item is tight control of consumptions we need to maintain the tight control what if we are utilizing it if we are using it immediately it has to be informed to the ir authorities okay tight security is needed that is called as what h item m item means little medium level okay medium level security is more than enough medium level of uh, uh, security storage uh, medium level of control everything is medium low level means it is a low priced item so less control is more than enough normal standard security is more than enough okay so these are all the category of hml the last one is fsn it is based upon the moving how how much it is used in a day to day hospital setup it is called as what fsn the full form is fast moving inventory slow moving inventory non moving inventory fast moving inventory means the first key point what you supposed to remember is we need to buy in the bulk because the product whatever you are buying you know it is moving or utilized very fastly that is called as what fast moving item slow moving item means it is slowly it is utilized non moving item means it is not at all utilized okay so these are all the classification which is coming under what material management hope now you understand what is fsn analysis uh, hml analysis ved analysis abc analysis these four analysis are very important all the question whatever we discuss you know it is taken from previous year question paper most probably you will be getting questions from this area okay thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubts anywhere related to this content please drop your message in the comment section thank you very much guys